What's good y'all? Ruds here. Today's hardware review will feature the Wolfman Razors WR2 head on a WR7 handle, WRH7 handle. Wolfman Razors is a uh, Canadian based artisan razor maker, most notably known for his uh, former partnership with LA Shaving Company by which he produced the uh, widely popular and highly sought after um, LASC SSCO BBS1 razor. Um, that partnership dissolved in 2018 and Wolfman took it upon himself to uh, try to recreate this head design similar to the BBS1 and he's named it the WR2. There are slight differences in the um, head design such that it's not a copy, but more of an homage if I had to guess. Um, he works in metals such as stainless steel, titanium, brass, bronze, copper, and on occasion aluminum. He posts um, drops of open slots for razor purchases, and uh, you have to be quick on the draw because those slots fill up fast. From what I understand, it's about a two to three week delivery time from your order to the razor coming to your door. So the WR2 is, uh, this one is made out of the 316L stainless steel, which is the uh, most widely offered one if, if I'm uh, led to believe that correctly. Um, you can see here it's etched with the WR2 on one side and the Wolfman logo on the other side. This is the um, polished finish which I believe most of his razors are polished finish so it's like a mirror polish. Uh, the head itself weighs 33 grams. This WRH7 handle weighs um, <clears throat> 72 grams so it's about 105 grams altogether. Uh, fit and finish on this razor is absolutely beautiful. Craftsmanship, tight tolerances, all, all that is uh, apparent in this razor. Um, one of the nicest crafted razors on the market and I believe that's why they're so highly sought after both uh, in terms of direct purchase as well as secondary sales of these razors. So this uh, particular WR2 is offered in the uh, standard gap which is 0.95 millimeters. Uh, the previously mentioned LASCO BBS1 featured a one millimeter gap. Um, this head is also offered in 1.05 millimeters, 1.15 millimeters, and I believe a 1.25 millimeter offering um, at the time of purchase. You can select that uh, gap preference. I find this to be a uh, mild to medium aggressive shaver. Um, I definitely don't think this shaves as efficiently as my previous use of the LISSCO BBS1. Um, it's close, but that 0 .5, 0 0.05 millimeters uh, is noticeable to me. Uh, were I to be purchasing this for myself, I'd probably try the uh, 1.05 millimeter offering. The razor has a um, fairly intuitive sweet spot, um, but the angle of attack is slightly different than uh, many razors. I find that this, that the uh, safety bar should be nearly uh, perpendicular to your head uh, to really get the best slice of the whiskers, if you will, with this razor. Uh, overall, the balance and uh, heft of the razor are very nice. Uh, if you're comfortable with stainless steel razors in general, you'll be very comfortable with this razor in and of itself. Uh, this is one of those mindless shavers. Um, I can put this in a cruise control and not really pay much attention as I'm talking to you and just uh, wipe the hair away. Um, it does require a bit of extra buffing in my trouble areas, as mentioned, due to the uh, lack of efficiency that I'm comfortable with or used to. 
I see this as a daily driver um, for so many people who don't want a uh, aggressive type shave. Um, this just isn't <clears throat> the style I have for my dome shave, so it's not a knock on the product. It's just a uh, fact for me that I need more aggression and uh, more efficiency to get the shave done quickly as I do shave the dome daily. Overall though, I'm impressed with this razor. Um, it's a great alternative to the uh, BBS one, which is uh, selling for upwards of $1,000 on the secondary market and even higher, and there are very few available to be had. As you could see, really uh, effortless stone shave with the uh, Wolfman WR2 head. Um, really enjoyed trying this out. Um, probably the only opportunity I'll have to uh, grab one of these. They are quite expensive and they are very hard to uh, get on the uh, drop list in order to purchase one. I do recognize that these razors are out of most people's price range. Um, I'm often asked, is it worth it? Um, and my simple answer is if you have the disposable income or the means, it's certainly worth it if you're into uh, premium razors. Uh, these will outlast us, our children, our grandchildren. They're made to last. They're of high quality, tight tolerances, and uh, just beautiful craftsmanship. So congrats to uh, Wolfman Razors on the uh, release of the WR2 head. Uh, he has several handle options. I urge you to check the website out and uh, see if it might be for you. As always, thumbs up the video if you enjoyed it. Comment below if you have anything to say. If you're not already a subscriber, please become one. See ya.